In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install El Capitan on a older 2007 iMac from scratch. So all of the different steps from the USB stick, making sure it's formatted correctly, making sure that you've got it installed and set up correctly. And then also once you are going through the install process, the little tips and tricks that you need to have in place in order for it to actually be a successful uh, install. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Grab a USB stick that's at least eight gigabytes and we're gonna go ahead and uh, download and begin preparing the USB stick for installation. All right, here is an overview of all of the instructions. I'll flash this up a couple times, but if you wanna see it all, just go ahead and hit pause. Um, but we're gonna start with the mounting of the OS LCAP install. What that means is basically, once you've downloaded a file off the internet, um, you can see here I've got a .dmg file. Let's go ahead and double click that, and it is going to mount the installation. Now what that does is it, you've got the app here, uh, install OS X L cap. You're gonna go ahead and put that into your application folder just to make this script a little bit easier to run uh, when we get into terminal. You can see I've already done that here, so we are ready to rock. Um, now the next step is gonna be to get this thing over to uh, your USB stick. So go ahead and insert in the USB stick and that'll show up, of course. Um, you could go ahead and initialize this or open up uh, Disk Utility. You're gonna to wanna to format this disk. And um, the format that I'll use, you know, depending on, the, depending on the, the USB stick, you might need to use FAT32 or FAT, um, but uh, the OS Extended should work. I'm gonna go ahead and name it LCAP just to make it easier for my script because that is, as you can see, uh, already hard-coded in there. It's the, right after the seventh line. So once you've got your disk all formatted up, you can actually open up Terminal and paste in this code. Now, I had accidentally sort of formatted it a little bit in the text editor to make it easier. Um, so I had to remove an extra space in there because Terminal does not like extra spaces or characters or anything like that. So search in your Mac for Terminal, uh, open up a new window, uh, and then paste in the code. You're gonna need to know the password to your computer. So what this is doing is, is um, taking the uh, mounted LCAP uh, file, uh, it's going into it, actually it's not mounted, it's, this is the LCAP uh, app that you have in your application folder. It's going into it and using a create install media uh, command that the older LCAP file has. So you can see here I removed the formatting, now went ahead and pasted it to terminal uh, and it's gonna ask you if you are okay with, once again, deleting everything on your USB stick. It's gonna go ahead and erase that and then start the installation process. Uh, this should take about 10 minutes to finish. I'll go ahead and fast forward through that part and then we are ready for the next step. All right, note that I have modified the instructions here and added in the second part, the LCAP install process. So you're gonna get that USB stick and put it into your 2007 or whatever uh, iMac and hold down option on startup and then we begin the next stage. All right, USB stick is in. Let's go ahead and turn on the computer. Hold down the option key. That's gonna bring up your boot menu. In the boot menu, it takes about 15 seconds to get up here. You're gonna see your hard drive or current installation of whatever. And then you're also gonna see the more yellowish orange uh, USB drive. Go ahead and select that. It should say install OS X El Capitan. And now we just wait for it to get into the installer where we can continue with our next steps. This ended up being a little bit trickier to see, but I'm gonna walk through this and put the commands up on the screen so you can see them. First up within the installation instructions, just sort of click continue a couple times until you come up to the hard drives. If you need to format your hard drive, go into disk utility, it should be at the top. But what I'm gonna do is jump into terminal. So once again, go up to the top rather than clicking through the actual installation and go into terminal and put in this command, date space dash u. All right, and I put up the rest of the command here, 092302 basically setting the date of your Mac back to the time where El Capitan was actually released. Uh, with that uh, entered in, so hit submit, um, now you're gonna actually quit out of terminal, I'll take you back to the installation page where you can select the disk that you want to install and you won't run into these weird long running errors or um, uh, basically, the install will now work just fine. 
All right, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you much, and please subscribe.